All right, today we're going to take a look at how to create some student projects on the iPad. Uh, we're going to look at using the Explain Everything app. You could do the same thing with EduCreations as well. You don't have to use either of these apps. You could have your students create a presentation in the Office HD app that, uh, that the grant has provided. Uh, I'm also going to show you an example of how you could create a still image uh, for a student project using the notebook software that the grant has written. Remember, that's just like using your smart board uh, only on the iPad. So first, let's jump into explain everything and let me show you a sample project that I already have set up. Uh, so the, the setup is here. If I have three apples and one goes bad, what fraction do I have left? Uh, with EduCreations, you can actually uh, record this as a video uh, using that record button right there that the arrow is pointing to. Uh, and uh, have this be a video project for your students. And so what you do is tap the record button, have the student read through the question, and then you can actually throw one apple away showing that there's only two apples left and so the fraction remaining is two thirds. Uh, just hit the stop button, the red button down there at the bottom. And then once that screen is recorded, you can either export that out as an image, uh, but with email, that email button there at the top, uh, but since you recorded a video, you could also hit the video share button and just email us that video and we can post it on our website very simply. It doesn't have to be anything long or fancy, uh, just a quick little story problem of the students uh, working it out. You could also have the students set those up, but we're going to need some clip art in order to set these up. So let's show you what uh, we need to do to go out on the internet, find some clip art, uh, and save it to the iPad for you. So I've gone into Safari and into just a regular Google search, and I would do a search for whatever I'm looking for. In this case, Apple, followed by clip art, so I don't get pictures of real apples, I just get little clip art images. Uh, once the Google search is done, click on the images results there at the top so that you're not getting web pages, you're actually getting pictures of apples. Okay, so scroll through those and find the one that you like. Uh, you can also just tap on one. I like this guy with the smiley face. You can scroll that list from side to side and, and look through those bits of clip art there, but if you find, as soon as you find the one that you like, you can do a long press, just press and hold on that image and click Save Image. Uh, once you click Save Image, that file or that picture goes into your Photos app. Uh, just let's see where it goes. Inside Photos, I'm in the, the Photos app and there he is. Um, I need to go back and uh, grab another picture of the trash can. Uh, so I'd go back into Safari and go back one page, go up to my search results, and change Apple to uh, trash can or whatever, whatever bits of uh, clip art you want to try to find. Does the search. I like that one with the banana hanging out of it. And again, tap on it once to bring up this, the slide view, and then do a long press, a press and hold, and tap save image when you're done. Okay, now that those photos are in our camera roll, we can go back in to explain everything, and um, let's show you how to create a project from scratch. Uh, the, the insert image or file button is this one right there that I'm highlighting with the, uh, with the red arrow here. That will let, allow you to access your, your image images, your photo roll, I think Dropbox as well. Uh, you can also open up a web page from here if you want to do that. Um, so let me make a new slide and let's go through the process. So tap the insert image and tap from photo roll. It'll bring up all the different photos that are on my device. Just tap the one that I want. I get a little edit image screen here where I can size it, rotate it, crop it if I need to. Uh, when I'm happy with it, I can click done. Once it's in here, I can also, with two fingers on the screen, size and rotate and move that apple around. Uh, unfortunately, there's not uh, an image cloner or a way to insert the same image uh, quickly again and again, so I just have to go through that same process. Insert, camera roll, tap on the picture I want, and then say done, and I can resize in there. Okay, now I need to go and grab that trash can. So we're gonna do this one more time. Grab the trash can. Now I want to be able to have those apples go into the trash can, so I can do that with layering. Uh, any image on here, I can choose the little button there on the, on the left, that has the up and down arrows, tap on the object and then say bring that one to front or send some to back 
and that way I can hide um, those objects behind them if I want to. Last thing I need to do is add some text. Uh, the question prompt. So I put the little type the little A button over there on the left, and then type in the question that I want to build with with these images. Once you've finished your typing, you can resize and rearrange the uh, the text box with the blue arrows button on the top right. When you're done and happy, click the screen circle with the check mark in it, uh, and then move that text wherever you want it, just with your finger. Uh, once you've got the problem set up, you can tap the recording button if the kids are actually going to do the problem live and record it with video, and actually move the apples into the trash can because we did that layering. Hit the pen button and write in their response. And when you're done, hit the stop button, and that recording's done. You can then export that recording with the camera button on the bottom right, just click it on email or send it to YouTube. Or if your students are just setting up the problem, you can export that image as email. So that's it for Explain Everything. Let's show you the steps on how to do kind of the similar thing with the Smart Notebook. The advantage of the Smart Notebook uh, for these story problems is that it's a lot easier to create the problem with the images um, because of the infinite cloner that's available. The disadvantage to the Smart Notebook is that there's no way to record it as a video. So it would just be, you know, setting up the problems and having students send us the picture. Uh, so to get the pictures in, hit that little image button on the bottom right. Uh, when the pictures come into Smart Notebook, the little gray button on the bottom right, you can resize it. Uh, with that, to move it, just tap it with your finger to move it around. You can tap and move the green button at the top to rotate it. Uh, but then get it into place. Now to do the infinite cloner, do a long press on the on the image and choose infinite cloner and then every time you drag off of that picture it'll create a new clone of that picture much faster than uh, setting it up the other way uh, but you don't get the recording. So we got our apples there. Let's go back to the image button and grab that trash can, resize it, put it where we want it to go on the screen. Now we grab the text tool on the bottom, click wherever we want to start typing, and type in uh, the question of the story problem setup. Once the question's typed, tap outside of it, with uh, get the uh, pointer tool down there in the toolbar, and you can move and resize that text as well. Now for the layering, if you want to be able to throw those apples away, do a long press on the trash can to bring up the menu, and choose bring to front. And now when you move those apples, they will be hidden behind. So two of my five apples go back. What fraction's left? Grab the pen tool and write the fraction in there. And then when you have that picture done, when you have that setup done, uh, you can hit the export button or the magic button on the top right and just say email the current file and it will send that off, send those to us and we'll post it on our website. I hope that makes sense with those two different apps. Uh, those are two good options. You can also use uh, Office Squared HD to create a, a presentation, uh, and we've already covered that. So uh, that's about it. Please let us know if you need any help getting these, these uh, examples done. Thanks.